dirty, rotten British politics. In a week where a failed asylum seeker becomes a sex offender and then gains asylum, travels halfway across the country to throw chemicals in people's faces. You know, the good old news channels are telling he's a good Christian. We know better, don't we? We have Cleverly. Cleverly, one of the unelected Prime Minister's right-hand men. And what's he telling us? He's telling us we've had an overspend and we need 2.6, 2.6 billion to cover shortfall in hotels. I'm not talking about the tourist industry now. You are right, mate? We're not talking about the tourist industry now. Because if you don't know, in Great Britain, the four countries that make it up, people who arrive illegally in boats from France, we put in three, four and five star hotels. 300,000 on the streets of Britain. More women, more children, ex-vets. We do fuck all for them, do we? But we put young men, most from African countries, three, four and five star hotels. So an MP, Mike Freer. Mike Freer has fled his job. He doesn't say that. He hadn't even said that himself. He's resigned. He's been a conservative MP and this is nothing to do with his party of choice and who he's represented. He represents a mainly Jewish community, right? We're not getting to the politics of Palestine and Israel, but we're talking about an MP, someone doing a job. Quite recently, his office was firebombed. No one knows why. But he's been targeted, this lad, by extremists. We have extremists in Great Britain who are not tolerated in Muslim countries. The two extreme. The united front behind him, you know, has warmed my heart. Like I say, we've got unelected Prime Minister, Richie Sunak, and the people's man, Sir, Sir Keir Starmer, together outside Downing Street. It was a fine speech worthy of Winston Churchill. They're not going to tolerate extremism. The House, Parliament is going to come together and they're going to be behind. No, they're not. I'm fucking chatting absolute bubbles now. The silence is fucking deafening. Nothing. Nothing from the Prime Minister. Nothing from the opposition party. Nobody said jack shit. He's been handed out of his position by a recognised extremist group. Death threats. He's a fucking MP, whether you like him or not. You don't go to work to get death threats. He's been hounded out of that job. His life was in danger. He's discussed it with his husband. Because here we go, he's gay. Which doesn't make a fuck's difference to me. But certain ethnicities and religions, it's a sin, is it not? It's a sin. You know, people, A, B, C, D, E, F, plus community, are marchers whereby they have no understanding. In certain countries, and religions don't want him. He will be put to death, stoned, thrown off buildings and the like. But yeah, the silence remains, pun intended, deafening. No fucking support whatsoever. I'm just gonna take a breath now. Main man, Stephen. Nice and peaceful. A million miles away from dirty, British, rotten politics. 
silence is deafening. No party for him. You know, put together, buy a card and some flowers and chocolates and maybe a beer or two or gin and tonic or salmon and caviar sandwiches in the Parliament canteen and bar, which is subsidised by the good old British public. See, all these fuckers, all these fuckers are bent. There is probably a dozen or so MPs, if they were together in the same party, and they were in with a chance of winning, that I would vote for, because we've got an elections coming in our country this year. It's like being offered a chance to be shot in the head or stabbed in the heart. Yeah, there's no choice. You know, I'm looking at putting a roof over my head. Not somewhere to live, I've got that. But the fucking winds, oh God, climate change, must be to blame. Blow my fucking roof off. Yeah? I can't claim to have it repaired. Like if I had stables or a swimming pool, I couldn't claim to have them newly installed with brand new heating. I can't give our lass a job as a cleaner in our house on 80 grand a year. I can't claim my expenses for going to work. I buy my own food to take to work. Dirty rotten British politics. You could get by all that shit. I could get by the fucking, the joke that is claiming expenses and everything else, the tax frauds and everything else, if they were doing people for this country, doing things for people of this country. But they're not, they're not doing jack shit, they're not listening. I run elected Prime Minister with his billionaire wife on the stand tweeting, XL bully dogs. His legacy is going to be XL bully dogs. And fruity vapes. Fruity vapes there, and there's a thing. He's gonna stop vaping, he's gonna stop young children vaping. Round of applause there, sir. What about all the children that have been abused and raped? How about getting behind that campaign? That would be a legacy, wouldn't it? It's not a profitable one, is it? It's dirty, you have to get your hands mucky. You have to alienate certain communities and religions. But we're not for that, are we? We don't want to cause a ruckus. So fruity vapes and XL bully dogs. Our unelected prime minister reigns supreme. Just gonna leave it there, guys. I'd like to thank you all for your continued support. Parting shot as ever. Ah, Stephen, roaming in the shite, getting me into trouble with our last. God bless you all. God bless all them on the streets. Thanks for coming. I'll see they.